car driving test has been fully functional now. So be well prepared before going for the test. When you will go for the driving test, the examiner will treat you as a driver, not as a student. So make sure, be relaxed, calm, be positive, prepare yourself mentally first. Tell yourself that you have to do and you can do. Most of the students fail because of two reasons, lack of practice and second one is when they go for the test, they feel panic, nervous and it's natural. When you're trying to do something and you're feeling panic, definitely the result will not be in your favor and it will affect your performance very well. You merging from side road to main road. So make sure if there is a stop board, stop for one second, even nobody coming. Then most of the students confuse either they need right indicator or left indicator. So when you stop on the line from where the traffic coming, you will use that indicator. So here traffic is coming from my left side. I'll give indicator left, then I will check. If somebody coming in the same lane where I need to go, I need to observe how far somebody is coming and what speed they are coming. So you need somebody coming maybe 100 meter or more than 100 meter, then you can enter in the road. And whenever you enter in the road, then you need to speed up. Why speed up? Because if you're not speeding up, it means you obstructing the other road user. And if you obstruct somebody, maybe to avoid a collision or avoid accident, they will use hard brake or they will uh, change the lane. So it means you force them to use hard brake or change the lane, which is dangerous for you and for the other road user as well. So anything like this, that will cause immediate fail. So now I see on the left side, see some vehicle is coming and it is close to me. So still I will wait. And now see the other vehicle is still far. So I'll enter on the road and I have to quickly speed up. So that will be safe for me and safe for the people who are coming behind me. The most common mistake every student is doing in the road test, when they change the lane, either they leave accelerator or they use brake. So whenever you using brake or you leaving accelerator, your speed will be slowed down. And if your speed is slowed down and you want to change the lane, the other vehicles will come more closer to your vehicle. So then it will be very difficult to change the lane. So meaning thereby, whenever you want to change the lane, if you're going slow, you have to increase speed and change the lane, but within the speed limits. And if you're going fast, then you need to change in the same speed. If somebody is going slow in front of you, then you must overtake by self. The examiner will not tell you to overtake. They will just see what you do. So to overtake somebody, first you need to maintain the safe distance from the vehicle ahead. For example, now you see, this guy is slow in front of me, but I am too close to this vehicle. So first I need to maintain the safe distance. What is the safe distance? 15 to 20 meter, you need to maintain the distance. Then you check the center mirror. So observe the situation. Where you want to change, you need to make sure to see somebody is coming in that lane or no. The second thing you need to observe, where you want to change, if somebody coming in that lane, you need to check speed of that vehicle. If you can see that vehicle where you want to change in the center mirror, and that vehicle speed is not more than you, then you check side mirror, blind spot, indicator, and you change the lane. And then you need to increase speed so you can overtake the vehicle you want to overtake. And after overtaking, if you need to come back to the same lane, so again, you need to do same process. If you can see that vehicle in the center mirror, then check the speed of the vehicle then check the side mirror, shoulder, indicator, and then come back to your lane. So remember uh, three words, observation, anticipation, 
and reaction. First, you need to observe the situation. Most of the students, when they see in front, they see like 10, 15 meter around their car. They're not looking far. So you have to see as far as you can. So you can observe the movement, the fast movement of the other vehicles. Second thing you need to anticipate. For example, I told you how to change the lane. If your anticipation is not good, if you cannot see where you want to change in that lane, some vehicle is coming fast or slow, or you can come in front or you can go in back. So if your anticipation is weak, then also you cannot react in time. And when you cannot react in time, you cannot be a safe driver. So basically to the examiner, you need to prove that you are a safe driver. When you go in a bend like this, when you go going in the curve like this, it's not allowed to change the lane. Also keep an eye on all the signboards, especially the speed limit. For example, when we going the straight road on the highway, speed limit is different. But when you come in the curve like this, speed limit will be different. If the examiner ask you to do something, for example, the examiner asked to change the lane. So first it will observe and then ask the student to do. Suppose examiner thinking that it's possible to change the lane, but because of the weak observation, student is confused. He thinking and he's not deciding at proper time maybe the quick movement of the other vehicles, it's not possible for him to change the lane. And then the student will keep thinking that if it taking too long time, maybe it will make the examiner angry. And in this situation, he try to decide very quickly, like he take the decision in haste. And in that matter, maybe he do something which, is, which will be really dangerous and that will cause his uh, immediate fit. So when examiner say something and suddenly the situation change, it's your duty to observe, anticipate and then react. If you think that whatever examiner is saying is not possible or it's dangerous for you or for the other vehicles, so you can carry on, it's fine. Most of the students in the road test, they try to be extra conscious and they think that if they drive slow, they will be a safe driver. So in the road test, if the road conditions allow you, don't drive too slow. You, you, you have to drive accordingly, according to the road situations. If the traffic flow is slow, if the road limits not allowing you to go too fast, it's fine. But for example, this road is 100 and 120 examiner take you to the highway and you driving 60 or 70 that is not a safe driving that is basically very dangerous driving because you are obstructing all the other vehicles and that can cause immediate fail as well road scanning is a key of safe driving most of the students they just looking the vehicle ahead of them and they don't know what's happening after that if you're just looking the vehicle ahead of you, you're not observing the signboards, you don't know, for example, roundabout is coming or traffic lights are coming, and you're not uh, applying the progressive brake, and suddenly you, you realize that a vehicle ahead of you suddenly slow down or slow down too much, so then definitely you'll apply a hard brake. So whenever you apply a hard, hard brake, that will be result as well. You can see this is two-way road. If you're going on the two-way road in the residential area, so keep in mind, don't drive more than 40. And if you see some school area, then it will be 30 speed maximum. In the two ways, you have only one lane and you need to drive on your right side and the left side will be for the coming traffic. So for example, you're going right from the, from the junction so I'll give indicator right and see there is a stop board in front of me. So first I will stop the car here and stay on the right side before stopping. Stop the car for one second, check left side 
and go please even nobody coming still you have to stop for one second so from here we will take left so first see there is a stop board so it means i have to stop on the stop line for one second and before when we go right we move the car on the right side but now we stop straight so stop the car here for one second check both sides because you are on the stop line so anybody coming from the right or left they have the priority so now see right and left both side clear so i can go so now this is four way you call it junction as well so because there is a stop line in front of me and there is a stop board so anybody coming from my right or left they have the priority so i will wait so if there is a stop board or stop line in front of you then you have to wait and the traffic coming from your right or left they have the priority so check both sides and when you think it's safe then you can go So I'm going straight now. See nobody coming from both sides, so I can go straight. See again, we are in the four-way road, but this time there's no stop line on in front of me, or there's no stop board. So now I have the priority, and anybody coming on my left or right, they have to wait for me because they have stop signs in front of them. So if you have stop sign or stop board in front of you remember then you have to wait but if there is no stop sign in front of you it means anybody coming from right and left they must wait for you and you have priority the examiner responsibility is not only to observe your driving but also to make sure your safety as well for example if where student supposed to apply brake but he is not applying brake and examiner thinks that if you don't intervene it can cause accident so definitely examiner will apply brake or if student is crossing the line or going out of his lane and examiner thinks that it will be dangerous it can hold your steering as well so that is called examiner intervention and examiner intervention means immediate immediate failure 